everybody, it is Heather, and today I am back with a brand new knitting journal. Today is Friday, September 20th, and I am here to show you what I've been working on, what I finished, and etc. Okay, so we have two finished objects, a couple works in progresses, and that's that. So, um, I'm going to start off with my first finished object. Last time I was here was the day before my son's birthday, and I was trying to finish a pair of socks for him for his birthday the next day, and I finished them. I'm very glad to say, which obviously I knew I was going to finish them. I was at the toes of both of them. So this is my son's socks. <laughs> Are they so cute? They have been washed already because he has worn them, and I wanted them to be nice and fresh and clean for the um, podcast. So. This is his socks. Um, they are vanilla socks knit on US Zero um, knitting needles. I used nine inch circulars. I started with the flexi, flexi flip type, fake flexi flip needles. And then I went to nine inch circulars because he's got a little man foot. He is nine, so his feet are kind of big. Um, these fit him perfectly, which make me so happy. Let's see if I have any information about these because I, I don't remember. Yeah, I made 62 stitches. I did, uh, I think like 15 rounds of one by one rib. And then I did 30 rows for his leg. I did a regular stockinette heel because my son has sensory issues and I do not think he would like the slip stitch heel. Um, so I did a regular stockinette heel because it looks more like a store-bought sock. And then I knit his foot for 55 rows before I decreased for the toes. So these are gorgeous. I love them very much for him. Um, they are made out of my Yarnable for the month of September, which was the Appley Ever After colorway by Hypnotic Hypnotic Yarn in their plush sock base. So his favorite color is red, and I think I accomplished it with this. So very happy with this finished object. The look on my son's face when he opened this package was absolutely perfect. Um, he literally was like, <gasps> socks for me i was so happy oh my god you never know if your knitted objects are going to be your knitted gifts are going to be like received the way you want them to be received and he hit it out of the ballpark with his reaction and it made me so happy so finished object number one and he loves them and that's all that matters to me okay the second finished object i have is my lilac Bloom Triangular Chalette. Ta -da! And it's all its glory. Ta -da! It's even got its ends woven in. The last time I saw you, I was just past the decreases. So, just past the halfway mark. Here is the halfway mark right here. And we were here at the little bunny, which once again, guys, is backwards. This bunny rabbit doesn't like me. Well, there's the little bunny. Okay, so I knit from here all the way to here since I last saw you. See the bunny? I knit that much. So that's really cool. I finished my first Christmas gift and that is exciting. Um, this is the Lilac Bloom Triangular Charlotte by... Anchor Bay Hand Paints. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's, that's the yarn that was used in the pattern. Scratch that, that's not his spot. Designed by Ethel Weinberg. Ethel Weinberg. Um, this is a free pattern on Cascade Yarns' this website. It is an easy pattern. It's very, very easy once your brain clicks in. Because if you recall, I started this pattern like five or six times. I used started with a different yarn moved on to a different type of yarn completely. I went from a cotton yarn to an acrylic yarn and long story. So 
you can check that out in other videos. <laughs> so once I got the hang of it, it was super easy and I blew through it in, let's see how long it took me. I started on August 27th and I finished September 18th. So I knit this in about three, three and a half weeks. I used Karen Blossom Cakes. Nope, I lied. I used Karen Cloud Cakes um, in the color Saltwater Taffy, which we have talked about. Like I said, I didn't think this looked like salt over water taffy. It just doesn't call that color to me, but whatever. Which is a medium four weight. This is a 240 gram cake of yarn. It was really big. All I have left of this cake is this little bit. So I'm guessing that I probably used about 210-ish grams for this. Um, I did knit it on a US 8 like needles, like a likey needles. I prefer wooden needles. The pattern called for a US six. Um, and a different yarn completely. It called for a cotton yarn, cotton merino yarn. And um, so I went with a needle that would match the yarn better because this calls for a US seven. I wanted it to be a little bit more drapey. So I went with a US 8 needle, which means I used more yarn than the pattern called for because the pattern calls for I don't know. Maybe two skeins of 100 gram yarn, uh, 35. It calls for this. So, whatever. So I didn't use that yarn, I didn't use that needle, but I finished it and it's probably longer than said pattern. It is quite long, but I kind of wanted it to be quite long because, I don't know, I just think it, because it's more of a sh scarfy kind of yarn shawl, shawlette. So I feel like it should be long. Now I do not know how to wear shawls, really. I just wear them like scarves. So like I would, Jalissa can wear it for however she wants to, but like, it's very warm, it's very soft, and like, it looks cute, right guys? And I got little tails. Like, I, I could see her wearing this. Like, I hope she wears it. I hope she appreciates it and likes it. Um, we will know. <laughs> and I'm guessing maybe November. I'm not sure when my son's appointment will be before Christmas. Whatever. So. It's, so. It's so it's cute, right guys? Ah, uh, well, this is my first Christmas project and I'm so excited that I have my first Christmas project done. And here it is, September. And I will wash this or I will wash it because it does have a little bit of dog hair in it. And even though Jalissa has dogs, I don't want her dog to, you know, smell it up and all that. Get all the, pack it up real, package it up real cute and give it to her. So, I'm extremely happy with it. I mean, it's exactly what I was hoping for. So that's all I can really say about that. And I had this little sausage left to do something else with. I actually have another cake of that. So I'll just put it somewhere near that other cake of that. So I can probably use them together in another project for another shawl for somebody. Maybe for my sister because she's a vegan and she doesn't use animal fiber yarn. So maybe for her. Uh, today I'm drinking fruit punch. Love it. Okay, so let's move on to works in progress. That was my last finished object. I've been like trying to finish off some of the things that I have going on the needles, um, which is quite a few things. Oh, actually, instead of works in progress, I'm gonna show you something else. This is a work in progress, but it's also about to be frogged. So I'm gonna show you this. I knit, I showed you uh, before, the sock for my daughter and the lollipop yarn. Um, I think it was Space Cadet colorway. Let's see, I think I have it on here. Um, but I knit this sock for her. And I've been trying, I tried it on her and it's tight. It is too tight for her to wear comfortably. She's not gonna wear it. Um, so I am going to have to frog it. It is Space Cadet by Lollipop, Lollipop Yarn. I'm gonna have to frog it. I do have the second one already going. I'm gonna have to frog this and rip this out and start over. Um, this one I had knit with like 48 stitches or something. Let's see if I can find it. 
recently finished. In progress. Where is it in progress? There we go. In progress. So, we lose shorty socks. I cast on 48 stitches, but then I decreased a foot to 44 stitches, thinking that that was a good idea. Um, I think that I might go back and cast on 50 stitches. Um, I think that's what's best for her little foot. Even though the foot fits her, it's just very snug. And I know her. She's very weird about things. If something doesn't feel exactly right, she's not going to wear it. And I want her to wear it. So, I am going to re-knit these socks in the same color. I have enough yarn to do that, I think. <laughs> I have this much left from what I had wound off for this and then I have this ball for this sock so I'm pretty sure I have enough I just need to rip back and attach that back to this one this this ball of yarn can be attached and then can start over with this ball so that's unfortunate but you know it happens I wanted to fit her so I'd rather rip it out and redo it I am keeping this in this really cool bag this is like an ice dyed um, canvas bag by So Yarnlicious, and I actually love the lime green color, and I love the natural look of the, the dyeing process. Like, to me, this is absolutely gorgeous. So, it's a tiny bag. See? See? -do? I love it. So, that is a rip out frog it, start over, but going to start again, socks for my baby. Um, so, my first work in progress that is officially a work in progress is what I am calling my cheerleading socks because I'm knitting these at cheer practice. Cheer, yeah, cheer practice for my daughter. I'm trying to think of what they would call that. It is still practicing to be a cheerleader. So, these are vanilla socks that are for my husband. Um, I do not currently have a Ravelry um, page for these, but I will try to put one up. These are really, really cool. The color is really cool. Um, I will have to count the, I think that this is like 66, maybe. It's like, I think it's a 66 or a 64 stitch sock and it is a two by two rib at the top. And then I knit the leg for, I don't know, this much <laughs> until I realized, you know, it's probably long enough. Uh, I'm not, like I said, fussy about specifics. I went ahead and did a heel, which is a slip stitch heel. And I am now on the decreases. And yeah, so the yarn I'm using, this is, I think, is Regia 4-ply in the color 04067. And this is it, and it's glory. I got this in a yarn swap, I think. Actually, I take that back. I bought this off of Etsy. This is 50 grams, 230 yards, or 210 meters. It is, I'm guessing 75, 25. Yep, 75 virgin wool and 25% polyamide. So, it's a very chaotic and hectic it is also a christmas present for my husband um i am knitting it on nine inch circulars these are pretty sure chow goo maybe not these might be the takomi takami no these are clo yeah t these are clover wooden nine inch circular needles um i won't decrease as much my husband has a wide foot so um yeah so I am moving along on this. It's a slow grow, slow going sock because, you know, we only practice it here for an hour a week now. We did practice two hours a week or twice a week for an hour, but now we have games. So we are only practicing once a week. So I don't knit during the games because I'm too busy like staring at her and like, you know, egging her on and like, go, 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 and taking photos because I'm an obsessive parent that has like 25,000 photos in my camera reel, but that's neither here nor there. So that's what I'm knitting um, in my car slash cheerleading knitting. Um, I am 
I'm sure that I can probably get these finished because once they get to a certain point, I will go ahead and start um, knitting these at home probably. Like I might even cast on the second sock to have home since I have, you know, 250 grand balls. So there's that. So that is my first technical work in progress. Oh, I'm, this is super cute. I'm holding it in an it bag. Who made this? Let's see. Oh, it's in here. Katie did bags. I love this bag. I love it. I love Pennywise. I love horror movies. Horror movies are my favorite. This is a very cute bag. I like drawstring bags because I am really good at zipping up my projects. Even like on my backpack sling that I use as a, as a bag to go out with like a purse, I zip up things in it all the time. So drawstring is better for me. So that's cool. Yes, I do not usually share the bags that I'm using if, because to me, a project bag is personal. You get what you want. You don't get what other people have. Unless they ask you, then you've passed on said information. So, the only other work in progress that I brought up here, I am working on another pair of socks, and I'll talk about but I don't have to show you, is my Halloween socks for Abraham is what I'm calling them because Abraham is my doll baby who needs a pair of Halloween socks because my daughter said he did. So, I am making him pumpkin socks. This is... The cutest little thing ever. I am past the heel now. I'm on decreases. I did an eye of partridge heel, I think it is, um, called. I did three rounds of green contrast color, knit one pearl one, and then I did, you know, about eight rounds, eight, nine rounds of regular stockinette. But what I did is I switched to pattern one over so that the pearl rounds from the green are the knit rounds on the orange and vice versa. So I thought that was a cool little touch. Then I knit for 15 rounds for his little leg. Then I did a little bit for the heel. He is a doll baby. His socks do not have to be perfect. Um, they won't be worn by a baby because, you know, they're rather small. They'd have to be a newborn sock or smaller, maybe a preemie sock. Um, I'm going to show you the doll after I show you the yarn labels. Okay. So the green is Ficolina, Ficolina, Ficolana, or what the classic in, I think this is like apple green. It's color 250. It is 80 superwash merino, 20 nylon. I like these little hot dogs of yarn. They fit well on my shelf and I wish I had access to them. Um, Ficolana isn't readily sold anywhere near where I'm at or even really online. Which is a shame because I do like it but that's the contrast color I am NOT gonna do heels or toes in this color because I actually think a pumpkin wouldn't have green on both sides so I'm just gonna knit 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 orange and then you know toes the idea was that I would just like make cuffed booty type things and that's kind of what these are you know you can just roll it over and then you have and it's super cute um, the orange is opal yarn Let's see, I have the label here somewhere in my bag. I'll show you my bag in a second. Yes, here's my bag, my label. This is Opal. Opal Pullover and Sock and Wool. This is like the Opal Neon. It is neon orange. We have 75, 25 wool and polyamide. 100 grams, 425 meters. And yeah, so that goes with this. Um, I'm using the fake, fake flexi flips again and US zero. Um, yeah, so I just need to finish the little foot. I figure I could finish this first one today if I feel like it. Um, I can do the other one tomorrow or the next day because I'm trying to finish things that are on the needles and cast on new things, whatever. So. I'm gonna show you the bag real quick that I'm holding all this in. This is what I'm calling my podcast bag, mainly because currently what I'm working on is in this bag. Um, I just throw the project projects or project bag, whatever I have in here. But this is not a knitting bag. This is a gardening bag. So it's made out of like rough canvas and it's got these little thingies here that hold tools like shovels and spades, but I don't use it for that. And then it's got all these pockets like all over. 
and I don't use it for gardening. I got this as a gift for my mother for Christmas. I mean, for my birthday. And I'm like, ooh, that's going to be a project bag. So it's a perfect carry upstairs to podcast bag. So just throw everything I'm working in it, pile it up around it. And then it just carries easily. So it's my podcast bag. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is quickly the baby doll that I am making these things for. This is Abraham. See Abraham and he's so pretty. He's got a grumpy baby face. So this is Abraham. These are his tiny feet. His feet are bigger than my baby's was when she was born. She was a preemie. So um, I think that they are, let's turn you Abraham. They're, they're so cute. <laughs> I just love babies. Oh, his little feet are so cute. And if you see, this is why I like, I absolutely love these dolls. Like he's got like little fingernails. He's got red in his creases. Like, he's not a reborn doll. He is a plastic doll. But he's a soft plastic doll. And not like soft body. He's a rubber, vinyl, whatever they call it, doll. But he's really cute. And I love him. And his name is Abraham. And this is his pumpkin outfit that I now know that the orange does not match. But it doesn't matter. He'll be cute in whatever he wears because he's Abraham. And Abraham has a cloth diaper on because his mom, me, was a cloth diapering mom. So, isn't he cute though? Oh, okay. So, this little guy is neither here nor there. He is just who I make the socks for, who I am making the pumpkin socks for. So, um, that's really all I have today. I don't have too much because I'm trying to work through the things that are all the needles like gifts and I'm gonna start some more gifts soon. I'm gonna start my, I'm gonna redo those socks for my daughter. And I'm gonna start her a birthday sweater very soon because what do we only have like a week and a half till the first and I gotta get that started. And yeah, so that's that. I hope everybody's having a great week. I do have an idea for a Monday video also known as a side note. Um, I'm thinking of showing you two things. Tell me which one you'd prefer. All the advents, yarn advents that I have that I have not used or are in the process of using and haven't finished or really need an idea to work with this yarn. Or I can make a video on all the knitted blankets, knitted slash crocheting blankets that I have on my needles because I have a lot of both. Um, let me know down below what you think. Would you rather see a video of all the blankets that I am making or have started and are hibernating, I guess, or that really need to get some work in them? Or would you rather see all of the yarn advents I have that I have not used and really need to? Or what would you like to say? Tell me down below. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day and you're going to have a great weekend. I can just feel it. And I will see you all again very soon in... Another video coming to the screen near you soon. Peace, guys. Keep up alive.